Most gardeners are aware that the soil you garden in has a profound influence on how successfully you can grow your plants. Now learning about your soil is not as easy as just going out and looking at it. One way to learn more about it is to have your soil tested. A soil test will tell you important things like the nutrient levels of your soil, its fertility, and the pH level. These soil test boxes are generally available at your local nurseries and garden centers, or you can always find one available at your local LSU Ag Center Extension Office. Everything you need to submit a soil sample is here in the box. You drop in the mail and it goes right to the soil testing laboratory. Now, the nutrient levels that come back will influence how, fer how you fertilize your areas, but you may also get some information on the pH. That's the scale that soil scientists use to gauge how acid or alkaline the soil is. If the pH is above 7, it's alkaline. If the pH is below 7, it's acidic. If your soil is too alkaline or acidic, you may need to adjust the pH. Now, if your soil is too alkaline and you want to grow acid-loving plants like blueberries or azaleas, gardenias, well, you can acidify the soil using products like sulfur, aluminum sulfate, or copperus, which is iron sulfate. Use these per label directions and they take a while to work, so put them out well in advance of planting. If your pH is too low and your soil is low in calcium, you'll be recommended to use agricultural lime. Never add these products to your soil unless you've had a soil test run and you know exactly what you're doing. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.